Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you all the adventures of Tom Sawyer written by Mark Twain. Mark Twain was uh, known as the great American short story writer, novelist and humorist. He is considered as the father of American literature. He was, like, he was born in a village of uh, Florida on the branch of Missouri River in the year 1835 and in the year 1869 he wrote his first travel book in the name The Innocents Abroad. That brought him fame and success and Mark Twain settled down there to become a novelist there. His novels describes the everyday life of the normal people. He never exaggerates the life of the people and in all his novels he has been very optimistic and so his characters are and this particular novel The Adventures of Tom Sawyer is based largely on his personal memories of growing up in Hannibal in 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 1840s so every figure in this novel comes from Mark Twain's village experience uh, so he brings all those characters into this novel and this novel is concerned with the main character Tom Tom Sawyer's uh, personal growth and his quest for identity and the tone of this novel is uh, satirical and also nostalgic so now we straight away get into the outline of the novel so the main character of the novel is Tom Sawyer he is an young mischievous boy living with his aunt Polly and the banks of Mississippi River he's such a person that he enjoys getting into trouble as all youngsters nowadays do he enjoys getting into trouble and the way he escapes from all his troubles makes us love the character of Tom throughout the novel so he always wanted to escape going to school we ourselves would have done hope many of you would have done it right he also goes to swim surfing his uh, uh, school one day after playing hooky he gets into a fight then after he reaches home he was uh, caught by his aunt Polly and he was punished to paint the fence which is nine feet high and nine feet long and that was a Saturday he was asked to paint the fence on Saturday and that was a holiday so uh, however he as he is so very much uh, naughty and mischievous he plays a trick uh, when other boys comes and asks him why he is uh, painting the fence instead of playing he says uh, that uh, whitewashing the fence is a great honor and the aunt, all, uh, aunt Polly will never allow others to paint the fence except Tom. That he, he's, uh, he, uh, so in that case the boys will also wonder to whitewash and they also say that they will pay any fees to Tom that he demands. So that was a very good deal right. So he accepts the uh, uh, what they give and uh, he collects considerable fees from the boys and uh, he allows his friends to paint the um, he allow after getting considerable pay he allows them to whitewash the fence and it almost it try they painted the fence thrice in half a day and uh, the, the 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 scene happily ends so this is how this chapter of whitewashing punish punishment ends happily uh, and the uh, next chapter that has to be taught is Tom's Monday morning trick. So we also play a trick every morning at times. So here Tom what he does every Monday morning is he feels very miserable and nervous because uh, another week has started and he has to suffer in school. So it was very fine, painful for him to go to school on Mondays. To avoid going to school, he plays tricks. So first he thinks he could pretend suffer from stomach pain. Then he realizes that would not work out. 
and he was thinking for another idea and then he realizes that one of his upper teeth was loose so he planned to use that uh, but all of a sudden he realizes that if he says this uh, that his upper tooth is uh, loose his hand would pull it out and that would hurt him so much so he was thinking for another another idea and uh, finally he comes out with an idea he decided to act as if he has a pain in his toe he started shouting as he is dying out of uh, pain so he goes and brings his aunt polly but nothing worked out aunt polly understands that he is uh, pretending uh, he she sends him to school after and polly sent uh, she, she but nothing worked nothing worked out because and polly understands that she, he pretends uh, he pretends and she finally sends him school after pulling his teeth out because uh, in order to uh, uh, in order to uh, handle or manage the situation he he told the truth that he has this tooth pain his upper tooth is loose so his aunt uh, polly she brought the dental kit and uh, she pulled out the tooth and uh, sent him to school safely so this is how this episode ends see uh, aunt polly is quite uh, caring and loving her heart is easily moved she always calls tom in order to teach him discipline but soon she forgets all his faults and cares for him her anger her anger is always short lived around this time tom falls in love with a younger becky thatcher she is a daughter to a judge but she she was also in love with him but soon she shuns him after she realizes or comes to know that uh, tom was previously en- engaged with amy lawrence tom tom tries to win her back but she refuses she refuses the gift sh- that he tries to give her he felt tom feels very much humiliated and he wanted to run away from that place then uh, at this point enters a new character tom's close ca- friend huckleberry finn he is called as huck he is a friend of tom and uh, he is uh, same like tom he is also very adventurous he is a uh, son of a hopeless drunkard fellow and uh, he has no home to live in he eats what he gets and uh, he has not attended school and he is independent nobody in that village cares for him and he also never cares for others but he shares his adventures with tom who has similar similar ideas like him so these two they decide to meet in a graveyard at midnight to their surprise they witness a murder in that graveyard in june joe kills dr robinson and puts the brain puts the blame on uh, the mad part he, uh, he doesn't know that uh, in june jo is unaware that uh, the these boys has seen what he has done afraid afraid of the consequence these boys also decided to be silent about the incident but then tom feels very guilt when mad potter was arrested for this murder then later again tom goes to kanlan's beggy because he loves her so much but she rejects him again so tom along with hak and joe goes to the place they steal food and go to uh, jackson's island to become pirates so everybody thought they are all dead and down uh, this naughty tom no he's again struck by an idea he wanted to appear at his funeral and surprise everyone that they are alive he also persuades joe and have to do the same they do the same and they return with rejoiced by everybody and they became both envy and admiration for all their friends 
Then summer arrives. Tom and Hark they go for hunting for a treasure, for a buried treasure in a haunted house. So they both are very adventurous. They always wanted to find something. They are in search of something. So they now go in search of a buried treasure. Uh, when they enter the haunted house, they hear a noise. Uh, they are peeping, uh, peeping through the hole. They see In Jun Jo. You remember who In Jun Jo? He's a killer who killed Doctor Robinson. So peeping through the hole, they see In Jun Jo, uh, the murderer. Uh, he enters the house along with his companion. So he and his companion buries are uh, trying to bury some stolen treasure, but an amazing coincidence happens. They themselves find a, a, a box of uh, gold which they buried already. But very soon they both became very suspicious that someone is there in this place. And instead of burying the box, they take the box of gold along with them. Then Hark begins to shadow uh, In Jun Jun. It is shadowing. It's like uh, he started following In Jun Jo in order to take the treasure which is with him. So watching for an opportunity to how to nap that gold. So he, as he is uh, shadowing In Jun Jo, he overhears their plan to attack a widow, Douglas. Uh, she stays at Saint Petersburg uh, at their place. He immediately goes, after overhearing this, he immediately goes and saves um, Mrs. Douglas, informing uh, the plan of Injun Joon, and he saves her and her property. Meanwhile, Tom goes on a picnic to a cave with Becky and their classmates. Becky and Tom, at one point of time, they get lost in the cave and uh, their absence were not discovered. It was discovered on, only in the next morning. Soon Tom and Becky, they run out of food and candles. They became very weak, tired, and they don't know what to do. They will keep on searching for a way out. While, uh, uh, while Tom tries to find uh, for a way to escape, he, Tom finds Injun Joon uses the cave as a hideout. However, he also finds a way out. So they they move out of the cave, and uh, as we all know, Becky's father is a judge. Uh, he locks the cave. Injun Joon gets trapped inside the cave, and he is uh, starved to death. One week later. Tom takes Huck to the cave and they, they find the box of gold. They were surprised, they were happy and finally they won the uh, challenge. Mrs. Douglas whom Huck uh, um, saved from Injun Joan. He has saved her and her properties. She uh, wanted to adopt Huck. Tom also um, promises in um, half that he will uh, pin him into his uh, robber's uh, team. Reluctantly, Huck accepts the offer and stays with Douglas. So that is the happy ending of uh, this novel, Adventures of Tom Sawyer. See, in all the adventures, uh, Tom never fails to delight us and he proves that he is a hero in full measure. He also proves that he is remarkably courageous in solving the issues. Adventure is in Huck's blood as well. He is always searching, exploring, getting into tight corners and getting out of it. Huck has a highly imaginative mind. He wants things to be done in a grand way. He explores the haunted house and the dark cave in, dark, in Tom's company. He also has that stuff uh, that heroes are made of. Both Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn are considered as two fruits of a same tree. In essence, both are same. Both the boys are highly fearless. Both of them show a great perseverance. 
whatever obstacles they face, whatever disappointments they face, they go on till they win the treasure. They wanted to win that treasure. They go to any extent. Next to Tom and Huck, the character of Aunt Polly has to be much discussed. The love and the care that she shows upon others has to be definitely discussed. And also the most important thing about Aunt Polly is her uh, craziness in uh, crazy medications. One day what happens, uh, Tom waits outside uh, outside Becky's house to see her but uh, he couldn't spot her at all. So he was very sad. So Aunt Polly was very much worried about Tom. To make Tom feel better, she tried lots of new remedies that she read about in a women's magazine. One remedy was uh, is like giving Tom a cold bath every evening. After that, he would wrap him in the many layers of a blanket and make him sweat. This didn't help him. It only worsened the health of Tom and he has become more quieter and saddened. Next, what she does is uh, she talks to her friends and uh, they recommend a medicine made from chili peppers. So, she uh, decides to give him uh, uh, a teaspoon of uh, chili pepper medicine and washed him. His mouth, throat and stomach, everything were like as if they, they were on fire. He ran around the room shouting, screaming and Polly was pleased. Uh, to see him back in his own form and she uh, says uh, that uh, if he doesn't get better now she will give him another one medicine the next day so immediately um, Tom like he feels like he has lessened his uh, sadness so seems to be more uh, funny at one side and irritating at, uh, at another side she is a very caring and loving person. She is an old widow who lives in this small village. Besides her son Sid and her girl Mary, <coughs> she is also bringing up her late sister's son Tom. She spends most of her time controlling Tom. She suspects that Tom is cutting school now and then and going to swim which he actually does but her heart is easily moved her love is not only for her own people she uh, rushes to uh, hug and welcomes him warmly when he come when she comes to know that he has no one else to take care so according to her she believes that all children are god's children she is a, a very good soul and um, who, who wanted to uplift the life of Tom. One who reads this novel uh, for the readers, Tom will become a character who is unforgettable. This book shows the joy of childhood as well as the acceptance of change and most of all it reveals that we all have a little Tom in us. It is a best book for the teenagers to spend their time. So I hope you all read the whole novel uh, at home. So after um, viewing this uh, video, kindly take your guide and go through all the SHR questions that are given in the book. And uh, I did not give you any special explanations because all I have given all uh, connecting everything so explanations are given already so you will understand that when you read your guide so kindly stay safe at home and uh, prepare well for your semester examination thank you so much